Scratch Coding Tutorial and welcome to my Scratch Coding Tutorial. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a simple, simple fire effect in Scratch. So, let's start coding. First, you will need a new project. So, after you make a new project, make a backdrop black in color. Make the outline to be zero. And then it then make a perfect yeah a perfect rectangle filling the whole screen. Next is a paint. So paint a sprite. Make a square which is orange. Somewhere around that color. So let's just make it more nice and orange like that. Next, let's zoom in and make quite a nice one. So let's just make a nice square, which will be not very big, but yeah, a little big because we want it to be big. Make it 40 by 40 pixels. Next, duplicate that and then make a circle. Make a fill of yellow and you should be on the fading away circle section and then put the other color to be blank. This will then make a simple and nice one, so a nice glow. Next, you can duplicate that sprite and then make the glow to be much more bigger. Okay, so small glow and a big glow and a normal sprite. We have everything we need to start this tutorial. So, when green flag clicked, I will add a forever loop with a new block called fire. And exclamation mark and run without screen refresh. Now, after the fire, in the same forever, I will make a wait. 0 0.005 seconds. So the so remember wait 0 0.000 so 0 0.0005 seconds. Next is a go to front layer and then a switch costume. I will switch costume to pick random. 1, 2, pick random, 1, 2, 3. Now, it's really a pick random, 1, 2, pick random, 1, 2, 3, okay? I'm not saying it wrong. Okay, now, in the fire, I will add a point in direction, pick random, 0 to 360. And then go to X, pick random, negative 20 to 20. And then make a Y of negative 40. So then let's create a clone of myself. This will then create multiple clones and yeah, make a yellowish effect in the bar. So, let's just clean up the blocks and then go to uh, when I start as a clone. So, when I start as a clone, I will repeat 45 times. Now, in this 45 times, I will be checking that. So, repeat 45 times. I will change color effect by negative 1. And then that will fade nice a uh, yellow to orange color. Next is a change color or let's just say a ghost effect by two. That will make it fade away. Next is a change brightness effect by negative 1.5. And then put a... So 
negative one point five and then let's put a change y by three and then delete this clone now as you can see this is creating a very nice fire effect we can change the y to be five to make it go more higher okay so this fire is getting more bigger now let's create our backdrop more creativity so let's make a rectangle which is gonna be brown and then let's create another rectangle which is gonna be green right there and then let's expand it okay now let's create a new sprite we will draw this sprite and then let's just make the thickness to be more bigger and then let's make it a fill of brown to make it look like it's wood and now let's make it brown make a simple x and then let's put this right over there and the fire on top of it and now as you can see we have created a fire effect in scratch if you like this tutorial please like and subscribe and till next time the punch with the time out as you can see if i blow it this fire is going out also so bam it's out so thank you for watching until next time i am out